guys welcome back to world illuminator 11 and if you are new to the channel a really warm welcome to you really glad to have you over on the channel so we are going to do a divine structure for twin flame reading today and bringing in some questions they may some of them may be questions that you actually have things that you're wondering about your journey as well and seeing what messages are coming through for everyone but before we do that i was really guided to um the world offering deck as i was getting these cards for preparing for this reading and then in that deck i was guided to this card on calmness and i really found it powerful that that's the card that i was guided to because yesterday i talked about you know if you haven't checked out that video do check it out about 222 and the message that was coming through about finding that balance within and you know and that peace and calm and harmony within yourself so that whatever may be going on outside of you doesn't really affect you and i don't know if anyone else is feeling this but you know i woke up today and we are are still in this energy of the full moon but this is that energy of releasing of letting go so you may still be in the place where you are working on releasing certain things for yourself and you know and I woke up this morning with this sense of sort of a, a, a higher sense of calmness and peace within you know and that's because there is this releasing energy that is happening to help you to keep moving forward on your path so you know it was really powerful that this is the card that i was guided to and it says the inner divine is which is the witness of all remaining still and quiet even during intense turbulence so take a deep breath and then say quiet my mind dear lord May your peaceful calm take over me. So if you're in a place where there is a lot going on, maybe in your mind, you know, or you're feeling a bit of stress or anxiety about something, your twin flame journey, other things going on in your life, you know, you are getting into a place where there isn't that calmness within you. That's the message coming through. You know, call upon the creator. It's a very short and, you know, beautiful message. Quiet my mind, dear Lord. May your peaceful calm take over me so that you find that peace. And, you know, and that's what we are all learn doing on this journey you know we are all working on releasing the things within us that that stop us from finding that peace and the calm and the balance within and you know and you are moving forward on your journey wherever you are on your journey you know i talked about this being the journey on the community page today you are on your journey that is there to help you to find more of the calmness and more of the balance so that whatever may be going on outside of you, you know, it doesn't really affect you. Even if there's intense turbulence, things going on, you know, it doesn't take away that peace. And, you know, that's what we are all working towards to connect back to that inner divine that we have, you know, the place of calmness and the place of, of, of peace within us, you know, and we would do that by releasing the insecurities, the fears, the things that are holding us back from finding and connecting to that peace and holding that calmness and peace as we move along in our lives so i really found that this was a powerful card to come through as well and you know and you are working towards being in the place of having that calmness when it comes to your life and that's that calmness within and you know and that peace within and you know and it's a great place to be because it really helps you to navigate through life you know whatever life may be throwing at you but but from a place of power because you have that peace and calm within okay so let's see what questions are coming through so thank you angels what questions are coming through for everyone today what does everyone need to know from this day what questions are coming through what questions are coming through today thank you angels what does everyone need to know okay so let's see the cards that have come out so we've got a few cards that have come out today so we're going to see what is coming through here so the first card that I can see is energy of the connection today. So we're going to see what the energy of the connection today is. And for that, we'll bring, away, we'll bring in the right away tarot. So thank you, angels. What is the energy of the connection today? What is the energy of the connection today? Wow. So a few cards have jumped out here. Right. So let's see what has come out. So we've got here the death card. 
And this is a powerful card. So this is that card of rebirth. And I feel that this is the death of the old, releasing things of the past. We are in this energy of this full moon still. That is about releasing and letting go. You know, so there's like the death, the rebirth that is happening. And I feel this is for your divine masculine, for your connection as well. As you're both working or through this full moon energy, that is about releasing and healing to help you both to move forward on your path. So there is that rebirth that is happening for your connection to help your connection to move forward the next card that has come out is the ten of uh, wands and this is about releasing burdens so they are burdens being released when it comes to the connection you know releasing of burdens things that have held your divine masculine back things that have held you back as well so there's a lot of releasing of burdens that is happening to help your connection to move forward so powerful cards to come out here the next card that has come out here we've got the ace of swords and this is the card of making decisions and you know and it's like the card of you know taking your sword and moving forward on your truth that in in your truth that is what you know towards what is your truth is what is really coming through here and i feel that you know as you are both releasing things of the past this is helping both of you to get more into the place of your own inner truth you know to move forward towards your truth your divine masculine as well you know moving towards the truth of who they really are and the truth of what it is that they're truly desiring when it comes to their life as well and that's going to lead them to making decisions that they need to make when it comes to their own life you know decisions that will lead them to moving forward to tell you of the love that they have for you so you know this is about moving forward with the message of love and they're wanting to do this you know yesterday i pulled a short and it said it was the hidden truth i want to tell you how i feel and page of cups is the card about moving forward with messages of love so you know that's the energy of the connection there's a lot of releasing of things that need to go so that your divine masculine can get to that place where they're able to move forward and tell you exactly how they feel so powerful cards coming through so next card that we have here. So let's see what messages are they receiving through music? So thank you angels will bring in the messages through music intuitive Oracle. What messages is the divine masculine receiving through music? What messages are the divine masculines receiving through music? Let's do that again. What messages are the divine masculines receiving through music? Okay, so we'll go those ones then. Right, so a couple of cards. So the first card that we have here they are ready to express and demonstrate how they feel so again that's the message of wanting to move forward this same sort of energy of wanting to come forward and tell you how they feel and it says a text email phone call direct message or even a follow or a like on social media is on the way so you're being shown here that they're working through releasing things that are holding them back from being able to move forward towards you to tell you how they feel and when they do this, you know, that text, email, phone call, direct message, or even a follow or a like on social media is on the way. So I feel that they are the messages that they're receiving through music will be songs to do with, you know, can I tell you how I feel or something to do with expressing their love. You know, that's what they are getting because they are wanting to move forward to express and demonstrate to you how they feel. So powerful cards to come out as well, you know, when it comes to the messages through music. The other cards that came out is they hope in their heart that you can forgive them for all the things they have said and done to cause you pain. In spiritual truth, remember that there are lessons being taught to you on a very deep level from a place of love. Your twin flame is your greatest teacher. Forgiveness heals. So, you know, I feel that other messages that they may be receiving as well are really about, you know, they may be receiving messages about, you know, will you forgive me? You know, please forgive me. You know, I know not what I do. And that's like a message that they, they hear that song and it's like their message to you. So they are in this place of, you know, hoping that you forgive them. And, you know, and they will be receiving messages that are there to even show them that, you know, maybe 
you've forgiven them. Let go. You've let go and forgiven all that. And, you know, to guide them towards expressing their love because they're ready to do this and they're wanting to do this. They're just needing to release the fears that are still holding them back and the, the burdens that they still have so that they can be able to move forward to you and, you know, and tell you how they feel. So, you know, for you, it's about letting go. If you're still holding on to any pain of the things that happened in the past with your divine masculine remember forgiveness heals you but i feel that you know for them they're wanting to move forward to tell you how i feel that how they feel and also to apologize for the things that have happened in the past so what's affecting the divine masculine so let's see what is affecting the divine masculine right now so let's see what um, deck we are going to bring in for this. What is affecting the Divine Masculine? We'll bring in Divine Masculine 101. Thank you, angels. What is affecting the Divine Masculine right now? What is affecting the Divine Masculine? What is affecting the Divine Masculine? Let's see. What is affecting the Divine Masculine? What is affecting the Divine Masculine? Okay. So we've got a few cards here. But what is affecting the divine masculine? So let's just turn this round. Okay, so first card is I never meant to cause you pain. So what is affecting them is this thing, is this sort of guilt and, you know, thinking about the things that have happened in the past. This is something that they're needing to release. That's why the card about they're hoping in their heart that you can forgive them. So there's still a part of them that feels the pain and the guilt of the things that happened in the past, you know, and they are saying to you, I never meant to cause you pain. So, you know, I feel that this is something that they hold on to for such a long time. It's part of those burdens that they need to release so that they can free themselves from it you know and be able to move forward towards you you know they feel bad about it and and it's it brings them fear and you know and they they feel like you know my my throat it was like it was this blocking that happened they don't know what to actually say so you know they are saying to you i never meant to cause you pain and this is something that they're working through so this is what affects them that was our question what's affecting the divine masculine is that pain or or thinking of things that have happened with you in the past and you know and needing to work through releasing that within themselves for giving themselves for that so that they can be able to move forward towards you so these are some of the this is part of what is affecting the divine masculine so i'm just going to turn these round so and see what else is affecting them so they are also saying to you here right i think about how stupid i've been so you know this is clearly what is on their mind if they think about it they're like how stupid have i been this is the person that i love the most and i caused them so much pain and all these things it's like a burden on their shoulders that they're needing to release you know so they're working through this time of rebirth to release those things of the past to release that part of themselves that you know that they had to work through to you know to even go through those lessons of the way that they treated you is all part of the lessons you know that they needed to learn for themselves and that you needed to learn as well in spiritual truth so you know they are needing to work on releasing that so that they can move forward towards you so that's why they're saying to you i i, I think about how stupid i've been i never meant to cause you pain so that is what affects the divine masculine what also the affects they're also saying to you here can't you see what you mean to me so, you know, what affects them as well is the love that they have for you. Realizing they have all this love for you. they You mean so much to them, and but then they still treated you that way. So, you know, it puts them in this place of fear, in this place of not trusting themselves, you know, and it, that, those sort of things affect them. What if I do it again? What if I treat my divine feminine that way? And all these things. So they have to release that for themselves. It affects them from moving forward to give you that cup of love that they want to give you that message of love because they are thinking about this too much so you know they are needing to work on releasing this so this is what affects them you know and stops them from moving forward towards you and what affects them and keeps them in that place of fear because they 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 find it difficult to get past some of the things that happened in the past so they're needing they're affected by the past 
and they're needing to work on releasing this. They're also saying to you, you matter to me. So, you know, for them, you matter to them. No matter what has happened in the past, they're saying to you, matter to me. I think about how much I love you. So what affects them as well is the love that they have for you. You know, they are thinking about how much they love you. And, you know, and also like, how could I do that to the person that I love the most? But, you know, they also feel the beautiful side of this love. So, you know, that is what also affects them in a positive way, thinking about how much they love you i think about you all the time so you know what also affects them is the fact that you are constantly on their mind they have all this love for you and they're also saying to you i think about holding you so you know it also affects them because they want to be with you and they are thinking about holding you they're also saying it will never be over between us so they're saying divine feminine it will never be over between us because we are meant to be you know this this love even after everything i said and did you know i still feel feel this love for you i think about how much i love you so you know that affects them as well the fact that they have all this love for you it will never be over between us it will never be over between us no matter what i say or do you know so they're realizing this for themselves now that no matter what they've said and done in the past it will never be over between the two of you and they feel that love for you so that is what also affects them. And they are also saying, let's live together. So they're wanting a life with you, you know, and they're saying to you, let's live together. Uh, they would love to get past this so that they can move forward, give you that cup of love, tell you how they feel and, you know, and then have, be able to have this beautiful life with you. But they're still working through their fears, you know, fears because of things that have happened in the past, you know, things that they're needing to release, that they're working on releasing so that they can get to the place where they can move forward and tell you exactly how they feel so really beautiful so next card that we have so let's see the next one that we have will i get my apology so maybe you are in this place where you are just feeling like i just want an apology but you know the other message that was coming through is that remember in spiritual truth there are lessons being taught to you on a very deep level from a place of love this is what you and your divine masculine signed up for you know you came here to learn those lessons even though they're very hard lessons you know it's about getting back to that place of unconditional love forgiving it within yourself you know and yes if you they bring you that apology then it's great but it's not you know you don't have to be in the place of feeling like you know I, they have to have give me that apology when you really let go in yourself you know when you really it would be great if they did if you're wanting that and that is totally fine i'm not saying you know don't feel like you shouldn't be given an apology it's okay you know always go with exactly how you feel but what i'm saying is that you know that unconditional love as well also helps you to release that and not be like you know putting conditions that this has to happen for things to move forward if you see what i mean so you know it's about about working through things within yourself and you know and if they they are desiring that apology that's the question that's coming through will I get my apology so let's see what message we're gonna bring in the power in nature to inflame Oracle so thank you angels the question is will I get my apology will I get my apology let's see what messages the angels have got for you in relation to that okay so the cards that have come out so the first card so that that has come out is let go and let it all flow surrender so you're being asked to let go let it flow and what i feel with this card is that you know it's about not having an expectation about you know i've got to have an apology ah this is going to happen this is going to happen you know just surrender let go and let it all flow get into a place within yourself where you are okay within yourself you know you understand what the journey is about you forgive things of the past you let that go and you know and you are just letting go and letting it all flow so that's what is what is coming through let go and let it all flow and then we also have finding out information learning and growing knowledge and learning so what i feel here is that your divine masculine is finding out information they're learning and growing you know and the more that they're growing the more they will then be able to move forward towards you as they give you that message of the love that they have for you they'll be able to give you that apology as well if that is something that you are desiring to get you know if you're wondering about that they will give you because they are gaining knowledge and they're learning you know they are starting to reflect on things thinking about things 
themselves and you know growing within themselves and they they will come to a place where they will move forward and apologize because it will help them as well to feel better in themselves because they've been holding on to this for so long so the message is you know if you're wondering about an apology you will get it because they are learning and growing and when they move forward towards you they'll be able to apologize and you know and try and put the past behind because to be able to move forward even for themselves they will want to apologize so that they can be able to move forward with you the other card that came out is do you and it says don't be bothered by what others think say or do so you know you're being asked to focus on you right now on your own journey rather than being worried about will my divine masculine do this will they say this focus on you put everything onto yourself you know that's the big message that's coming through work on healing the parts of yourself that are still feeling the pain if you are feeling the pain of that you know of the things that have happened you know don't be bothered what by what others think say or do you can't control the way another acts or you know what they did you can't change that but focus on you the more you are doing you the more you help yourself as well within to get into that place of finding peace and calm and you know that unconditional love and letting go of the things of the past okay the other cards that came out is there is a strong passion between the both of you so you know you're being shown here uh, the question was will i get an apology there's strong passion between the both of you and because of that your divine masculine will move forward and they will apologize because they feel that strong passion that desire to be with you and to be able to move things forward as i said before they want to apologize to put that behind the two of you so that they can be able to move you can be able to move forward and have a life together okay so that's the answer that's coming through for that one okay so the next card that has come out out is is the divine masculine waking up spiritually so is the divine masculine waking up spiritually so most of these today are really about the divine masculine so is the divine masculine waking up spiritually so let's bring in we'll start off by bringing in uh we'll bring in this uh right away tarot again thank you angels is the divine masculine waking up spiritually is the divine masculine waking up spiritually so let's see the cards that have come out here. So the first card that we have, we've got here, this is the Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Swords is that card of reaching the end of a cycle. And I feel that, you know, this is the Divine Masculine having been through the life that they've been through. We had the Rebirth card that came out as well. So you're being shown here that there's a change that's happening within them. They've sort of reached the, the end of a cycle when it comes to the life that they've always lived. And they're moving forward to the next chapter of their life. And this is about awakening, moving forward into who they're truly meant to be. That Rebirth happening for them. So you're being shown here that they are moving into the place of awakening spiritually onto the next chapter of their life you know 10 is about that ending so that they can move forward to the next chapter of, of their life which is a change within themselves and waking up spiritually so powerful card to come out the next card that has come out for the divine masculine so we've got here this is the seven of wands and you know and this is a card that when i'm looking at this card it's like you know your divine masculine is in this place where they are working through things you know they're working through things it's like they have that wand in their arm in their hands and they are working through things that are going on in their life you know the things that they need to release we had the card about releasing burdens so they are working through this you know fighting through the fears the things that are still holding them back as they're moving forward you know this is about also moving forward towards that awakening that's what i feel that these cards are really showing you that they are going through this time of awakening that is them fighting through you know the things that have been holding the back the 3d matrix all the fears so that the programming so that they can step into who they truly are which is an awakening because they are moving forward to the next chapter of their life so those are the cards that have come out the other cards that came out is the page of Swords. And the page of swords, what I'm getting as well with this card is really, you know, that your divine masculine is like starting to hold the, uh, the sword of truth. 
you know, they are going through a change within themselves where they're holding the sword of truth of who they really are. They may still be facing the other way. You know, they're still working through things for themselves, but they are starting to move forward towards their own truth. And that is awakening. They're still kind of, uh, you know, their attention being taken away by fears, by the 3D matrix, by the life that they've always known, but they are starting to hold their, uh, their sword of truth and that is for them to step into who they truly are into uh the life that they're truly here to live to move forward towards the awakening you can see it's like the body is moving and the the sword are in that direction facing that direction but their face is kind of still back there and one leg is still back there so there is still this you know they're still working through it they are going through their spiritual awakening towards their truth where their body is facing but their leg and their face are still facing in the life that they've always known so there's this rebirth energy that is happening they are still spiritually awakening but you know they are sort of kind of like in between worlds you know with their one leg in the other world and the other in, in you know the other and they are going through this time of spiritual awakening that's what i'm really getting with these cards but there is a change that is happening for them so let's also bring in let's see what other messages are coming through thank you angels is the divine masculine spiritually awakening is the divine masculine spiritually awakening let's see what else they're wanting to say to you is the divine masculine spiritually awakening so the first card that has come out so let's see what they are saying to you here Right. I am currently learning new things about myself, life, our love and this world that we live in. So this is powerful. You know, they are currently learning new things, things that they hadn't learned before. Things that, are, you know, their body and, you know, for their truth is focused towards. That's what they are learning right now. They may still be looking back at the life that they all, they've always known. So this is telling you that they are spiritually awakening because they are starting to learn new things about themselves. That's about connecting more to their true self, you know, about life itself. That's spiritually awakening to who they truly are and about this love that they have with you because that love is there to spiritually awake them into the truth of who they really are and this world that we live in so they are spiritually awakening is basically the message that that is coming through i don't know how to get out of this situation but i'm looking for solutions so they are looking for solutions to get out of the situation that they've always known when it comes to their life so that they can move forward towards the life that they're truly here to live they are also saying to you my heart belongs to only you so for them, their heart is only for you. And they're also saying to you, my heart is calling to your heart. So they are opening up to their heart, you know, to the messages that are coming through. This is also about spiritually awakening. I am excited about us being together again so they're looking forward to having that life with you so i really feel they are spiritually awakening and they're wanting you to know this okay and the last card that we have what does the divine masculine want to say so what is the divine masculine wanting to say to you today so thank you angels what is the divine masculine wanting to say today what is the divine masculine wanting to say what is the Divine Masculine? We'll bring in this deck again. What is the Divine Masculine wanting to say to the Divine? What is the Divine Masculine wanting to say today? Right. So let's see the cards that have come out to finish off this reading. Okay. So the first card that we've got, I miss you so much. I know that I hurt you with the things I've said and done. I pray that you find it in your heart to forgive me. So again, this is them which has praying it's come out again that you forgive them you know this is something that they are holding on to for so long and it's something that they need to release you know if you're holding on to that pain because you know your you and your divine masculine are one if you're still holding on to that it's about releasing that forgive that let it go and you know and they are letting you know that they're missing you so much you know, they know that they hurt you. It's kind of, you know, so much on their mind. It gives them this guilt and shame and, you know, just things that they need to release for themselves. So they're saying they're praying that you find it in your heart to forgive them. And they are also saying to you as well, I am learning to put myself first for a change and to listen to my heart's desires. So there's that change that's happening for them. You know, their heart is calling them. It's like they're facing that way, the way their heart is calling to your heart 
heart and the where their truth is with that sword you know so they are learning to put themselves first to change uh, for a change and to listen to their heart's desires their heart's desire is leading them towards a life with you i feel bad about what happened between us i have been learning my lessons and i am so sorry i was unaware i was unaware and childish but this is all changing now so they are letting you know that there's a change that is happening within them. They are growing spiritually. Again, I keep being drawn to this card. This is that change of them moving forward towards the life that they're truly here to live, the life of their truth. And, you know, and they're saying to you, it's all changing now. I was unaware and childish, but it is all changing. They feel bad about this. So these are some of the burdens that they're needing to release for themselves. And they're saying, I've been, they've been learning their lessons and they are so sorry about this. So powerful cards to come out. It's a powerful how they're all repetitive. I'm doing what I need to do in my life first so I can be with you. So that's what they're saying to you right now. I am focused on and doing what I need to do in my life first so I can be with you. So they are working towards this life with you. Our being together may be delayed right now, but know that this delay is not permanent. Our time is coming soon. So they're saying to you, it may be delayed to right now because I need to work through these things. I need to release this guilt and, you know, pain of the things that I know I caused you pain and, you know, all the stuff that has happened. And I'm working through this. I'm reaching the end of a cycle. I am going through transformation and awakening and rebirth. You know, so our time being for being together may be delayed right now, but this is not permanent. Our time is coming soon. And the last message that they have for you is, I want to marry you. So they're saying, Divine Feminine, I want to marry you. You know, in this card we had, let's, let's live together, was the card that they had for you. Let's live together. I want to marry you. This is what they are desiring, what they're dreaming about, and they're what they're working towards. They just need to release the things that they need to release so that they can then be able to move forward towards you. And they're working through releasing it. The power of this full moon is also helping them to be able to do so, so that they can move forward towards you and tell you exactly exactly how they feel. I hope you have a great day guys. I'll see you on the next video. Love, peace, positivity.